In June 1913, the Empire of Japan has sent an ultimatum. They demand that we withdraw our fleet from our possessions in East Asia, claiming that it threatens their trade lines with neighboring countries. The government requires our advice on how to reply, which means that it's up to me if we want to go to war with Japan. We have three choices. We can insist on the fact that, well, this is a disgrace, <laughs> and go to war with Japan. The problem obviously being that we are already at war with Britain, France and the Soviet Union. We can, for now, pay off the Japanese and we do have the naval funds. We, uh, our naval coffers are, uh, are full and our economy, thanks to us protecting the transport lines, is, uh, is doing well. Uh, we could give them uh, to pay them 200 million dollars uh, which would avoid war with Japan for now uh, or we could pay them a significantly higher amount for improving our relations uh, we don't have an awful lot of ships in the east but then again Japan is far away from our coast so I think being a at war with Japan at the same time with everybody as we are with everybody else is not going to make a massive difference. We're not going to necessarily get into a land conflict with them. And uh, the biggest problem are the island possessions that we have. So the island colonies that we have in the Pacific. We don't have the fleet right now to defend them because our forces are all concentrated in the North Sea and the Baltics. So as much as it pains me, I think for now we will have to pay off the Japanese and uh, delay the confrontation for a little bit longer. The British Empire is accusing us of war crimes. Um, the, British <laughs> the British Empire uh, is, uh, is themsel are themselves violating human rights and conducting war in prohibited ways. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, again, we, we can, we can afford that. Let's, uh, let's put some funds aside to make sure that the war on the ground is conducted in an honorable manner and we are happy to contribute from our naval budget to that. The Red Cross urges France and us to ex exchange prisoners. Um, okay, we are starting to, <laughs> uh, this is get, starting to get expensive. Um, yeah, um, more more a prisoner exchange sounds like a good idea, but we are this is starting to impact our naval coffers at this point. So, uh, given that France were the ones declaring war on us, we do not negotiate with the enemy. Finally, after months of inactivity, the main fl the main fleet in the Baltics has managed to intercept a Soviet task force. The Wettin, the Kaiser Wilhelm II, leadership of her class, and the uh, unfortunately named Scharnhorst, <laughs> also having the not yet refitted Scharnhorst uh, leadership of her own class, and four destroyers are facing the Petropavlovsk leadership of her class, the uh, Tomsk, and uh, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and one of the, dis uh, the enemy destroyers. Uh, we have we have a significant um, advantage in tonnage in this fight, so um, it'll be interesting to see uh, the main battleships in action and uh, to uh, to observe how they fare against that uh, Soviet fleet. While our troops are still fighting on the ground, uh, we are defending the coastline and wrestling, trying to wrestle control of the Baltics away from the Soviets. With smoke spotted in the north, the three battleships, uh, the heavy cruiser and uh, and the heavy cruiser are forming two battle lines. At the same time, the destroyers are getting into position to scout and to secure the surrounding area. But uh, it'll come down to the heavy hitters of the Kaiser Wilhelm II class to take on the enemy. We're eager for a fight. And the destroyers have spotted the first target. The first shell, shell splashes are coming in, so let's take a look through the telescope and see what we can spot. That is probably a heavy cruiser. Interesting design. And that 
that could be the that could be the battleship. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we're still we're still at extreme ranges. We've lost vision again, and uh, we will get the the destroyers are currently doing t doing 25 knots. So we'll go out to flank speed with the two screening groups, and we'll see that we can that we can uh, make sure that nothing surrounds us. In the last time, the last time the Soviets have tried some interesting surrounding tactics. So uh, let's make sure that we've got our destroyers on screening duty here and the second destroyer group over there. Just making sure that uh, things get spotted. We have lost sight of them, they have lost sight of us. So uh, it is currently, it is morning and clear weather, calm seas. So we are not, uh, we are, we're not having any kind of, uh, any kind of restrictions in terms of visibility and we should be reacquiring the targets soon. Okay, that's why we had lost of the lost sight of them. Uh, there is actually this probably either the destroyer or one of the light cruisers laying smoke up ahead, but uh, we have reacquired uh, the presumably the heavy. I think yeah, this is one of the uh, heavy cruisers that we've already been been fighting before. So uh, now it's it's time for the for the heavy ships to start. To start getting getting their targets uh, and getting their observing their salvos and getting an idea of what's going on there while the destroyers are going to close in a little more and uh, right now we'll just uh, just sort of observe from the outside and make sure that they keep the targets spotted same with this destroyer group we'll keep our distance for now just keep the targets uh, spotted for the for the for the heavies and uh, we'll probably somewhat split the battle groups such that we can get a good crossfire going here. So we'll turn ever so slightly and make sure that they get that they get most of their guns on target. The Kaiser Wilhelm the second class have uh, relatively large secondaries. They actually have two hundred three millimeter secondaries. Although after the uh, performance. <laughs> On the Atlantis, I'm not too sure about that in retrospect, but we will see how it goes. Um, right now, uh, the main guns have acquired the targets, but we're still way too far ahead, too far out to have to get reliable shots on target. Uh, the destroyers can spot for any kind of incoming torpedoes and can lay some smoke if necessary. But right now, they're just here to to observe the battle and to keep an eye on things. And we will try to get the two groups. Uh, we'll try to get the two groups into better positions and see who lands the first hits. We've now spotted a couple more ships. That is that is a that is probably did we have a battle cruiser in the enemy group? I completely forgot. But whatever it is, we're already we're already taking hits. Uh, so the first first shells are landing, 305 millimeter from one of the Kaiser Wilhelm, and uh, has has over penetrated the stern here. Uh, we have spotted a one of the. This is not. That's a heavy cruiser as well. That's the battle cruiser-like thing, and this is the one. That's another heavy. One of the heavy cruisers. Okay, let's keep an eye on things. Make sure that uh, that the destroyers are. Yeah, we are. We're starting to identify everything. I want to know where the enemy destroyers are. That's a light cruiser. Uh, two light cruisers, so I think we are going to start focusing the light cruisers first. So uh, see if you can take on the light cruisers. Second line takes on because they are the they are a large they are the bigger threat for our destroyers. Let's see if we can take on these light cruisers first. Two destroyer groups, and you can t start targeting. This is, I believe, a heavy cruiser. Yes, it is. Other destroyer group. Uh, is starting to get a little close here, but um, we will we, we can smoke up and disengage if uh, if they start taking fire. So I'm uh, just making sure that uh, we've got our target selected, and then we'll see that we're closing the range and inflicting some damage here. Okay, the destroyers here are starting to are starting to draw fire. So I think we will um, we will probably uh, lay smoke here. Yeah, we are starting to take fire. We're going to lay smoke 
and then uh, do an inwards turn actually, 180. Second destroyer group, uh, lay smoke and uh, see if you want to get your torpedoes away but we'll, we'll maintain course for now and see if the if the two battle groups can do something about these light cruisers. We get one to go this way, the other one is going that way, which is good uh, directionally. Given that they they are moving they are moving towards the east, so we don't want to get too far away. But we have good we've got good an good gun angles now, and we just need a couple of good hits on these light cruisers to take them down. Then uh, we haven't spotted the enemy destroyer yet, I believe the Grom class destroyer. We've got the torpedoes away. So uh, first destroyer group's disengaging. Second destroyer group has dumped torpedoes, so you go out as well. Don't risk the destroyers. Uh, and we will <coughs> we will try to land a couple of hits. So it looks like the light cruisers are actually disengaging here. So right now they're still we're still in long range engagements. And uh, we are starting to yeah these these light cruisers these light cruisers probably have dumped their torpedoes as well so uh, second battle group focus the focus the heavy cruiser ah, that was the first kind of the first hit here uh, destroyer group is smoking up and uh, disengaging for now second destroyer group is turning as well good we have dumped the torpedoes in the water. I don't think there's a big torpedo threat here for us, but uh, we will have to keep an eye on these, uh, on these obviously. And yes, the light cruisers are... What's this? Is that a destroyer? No, that's not a destroyer. Uh, the light cruisers are just definitely disengaging. I'm still keeping an eye out for torpedoes, because these light cruisers have dropped off. And the destroyers are starting to take some fire. So, are these, are these torpedo wakes? Mm, no. Probably not. Okay, so we've got both groups, both groups of heavies closing in on the enemy. I'm starting to score a couple of hits, but uh, this group has this group has slightly less firepower, and I think they are they are significant. They are maneuvering quite a lot now. We will see if uh, if we can get yeah the uh, the. Gleb is retreating. There's the there's the Petropavlovsk. So uh, maybe our maybe our torpedo drops have caused um, have caused them to retreat. But it looks like the light cruiser, the uh, which one is it? The Kerch is still coming around. So we'll focus fire on we'll focus fire on that one from this group. Yeah, focus on the Kerch. Uh, second group is still going and chasing after the after the gleb, and they can also, given that the gleb is sort of sailing away here, they can also mm, thinking of uh, thinking of shifting fire to the kerch as well here. Yeah, let's shift fire such that we can uh, we we can get her into a crossfire. And the uh, destroyer group can can turn about again and uh, just keep just keep uh, keep distance and and spot while the and make sure that we uh, make make sure that we know what we're what we're running into. Okay, uh, we have managed a torpedo hit on the Pamiat Mercuria. Nice. So that's pretty much blown up her bow section. Yeah, she is turning away. And the second line is now, yeah, yeah, shift fire back to the Gleb. And I think second line is going to be, is going to be in the better position to take that one on. I don't want to get them too far from each other. Uh, I think we know where the enemy destroyer is. So I think the, uh, the friendly destroyers can start lighting. Is that a destroyer? That is indeed a destroyer. So, okay. Uh, v23 and v22 um, can take can take on that enemy destroyer uh, the other destroyers are turning around first battle group is getting in quite uh, quite close now so uh, we will try to inflict some damage onto the gleb whereas the second battle group is still trying to target the still trying to target the kerch we've got a relatively good solution by now on the um, 
on the main guns. Uh, obviously, the Scharnhorst, uh, yeah, not so much. <laughs> but the Kaiser Wilhelm II should be able to, to inflict some damage here. We just have to be careful. Uh, like I said, we have to be somewhat careful here not to um, uh, not to get us not to get ourselves separated too much. Uh, so far, the incoming fire is relatively ineffective, and uh, the destroyers here are on screening duty to take on that enemy destroyer. And the other destroyer line here. Uh, oh, oh, nice couple of penetrations now starting on the Gleb. That was one of the main guns. Oh, nice penetrations. Uh, engine engine knocked out. And yeah, I think the Gleb is going to be done for relatively soon. It looks like the uh, the two the two battleships coming into range here. We might have to drop speed slightly. We'll drop speed to 20 knots and uh, turn in a bit because uh, I am not sure if that thing is going to have torpedoes away. So. And the uh, the the wetting is starting to to take a to take a decent amount of return fire. How's it looking on the other side? Uh, we also here we have to be careful about torpedoes. Uh, we're still trying to in, to hurt that cruiser, but uh, let's switch fire to the Pamiat Makuya because she's already damaged. Uh, second battle line is taking on is taking on the Gleb and is landing hit after hit. We've got a second heavy cruiser coming in. But uh, I'm, I'm relatively certain that uh, they can take that one on without too much trouble. Uh, destroyer line here is uh, just scouting. Uh, we'll, we'll disable torpedoes for now. Second destroyer group is uh, is going to is going to have to make sure that we are not running into torpedoes, and uh, we'll, we'll try to deal with that. Uh, We'll try to deal with that uh, that enemy destroyer here. Yes, she's she's launched torpedoes, so hard turn. The, okay, the Gleb is sinking, which means we can now start uh, with this battle group to take on the next heavy cruiser. And uh, we are getting relatively close here. Okay, we're starting to land to land some hits, but uh, we are. We are getting relatively close here. That destroyer incoming V23 is turning into the torpedoes, so I think we're good here. Uh, we do have to be to be careful about torpedoes. So that group, uh, with the Kaiser Wilhelm II in the lead, uh, please take down these these cruisers if you can. Okay, we have the Petropavlovsk also closing in now, so I think this battle group is actually somewhat at threat here. Um, the destroyers are taking fire as well, so we'll need to turn them away. While the, the second battle group is now getting a little far off, so uh, we're going to start turning. And uh, just try to finish off the finish off that heavy cruiser over here. Uh, while, and the destroyers can, uh, can uh, turn in a little bit and see if they can catch up with the other group. Because we do not uh, necessarily... Okay, that cruiser is almost done for. Yep, she's sinking. Which means uh, we can now start uh, lighting up the other light cruiser. Destroyers are still in, in a gunfight with the uh, with the Grom. I don't know if we've launched torpedoes. Yeah, we've actually launched torpedoes at him. I'm not sure that's going to work out. But uh, destroyer group... Uh, destroyer group is going to keep firing... And maybe we can maybe we can get get some lucky torpedo hits. At least we've uh, dissuaded that destroyer. But we have let them draw us apart a little bit from that uh, from that maneuver that they've made. So uh, we will keep. Uh, and yeah, th these guys is he? Which di which direction is this cruiser going? It's actually coming towards us. So let's see that we can get that heavy cruiser uh, heavy cruiser taken down with the Vettin and the Scharnhorst. And we're already, yeah, <laughs> we're already slamming into her. Uh, do have to be, however, a little bit more careful with the second group here. And, uh, yep, that was a uh, aft belt penetration, actually, on the Kaiser Wilhelm from the uh, from the Petropavlovsk. So, uh, Will, who is now again changing course. So, again, we need to readjust the course on this group. Um... The destroyer so far is unharmed, unfortunately. 
but uh, Kaiser Wilhelm II has a bit of flooding in the stern now. And I think Scharnhorst has been relatively ineffective. So I think I'm going to actually uh, detach Scharnhorst, get her to, um, to flank speed and uh, get her to take on the destroyer. While the Kaiser Wilhelm is going to turn again. And uh, well, we'll focus both on the destroyer for now. And yes, we've, we've, we've the other battle group here, which has the, the, has the bigger guns, is cleaning up and is now starting to land hits on the Petropavlovsk. The Kerch is still here, but I think we'll be engaging the Petro for now. Let's see how that goes. We we'll get the destroyers. Uh, destroyers to destroyers have their torpedoes ready and smoke, so um, we will get them to we'll get them to to do a run and see if we can get maybe some torpedoes in. Uh, the other group is a little bit is a little bit far far out far away now so let's see if we can get them a little closer Scharnhorst as well uh, Grom might get torpedoes away so uh, we might we'll have to be careful here I don't know who she's targeting could be either of them so let's get the Kaiser Wilhelm in a sharp turn given that the uh, Soviet battle group has completely turned around now yep there come the torpedoes so hard turn from the Kaiser Wilhelm and uh, Scharnhorst focus your fire on that on that destroyer and the destroyer group here uh, can come back in again as well and uh, and make sure that we try to get this destroyer blown away if possible that was a good over penetration uh, the destroyers here are rushing in on this side and the vetin is uh, is have, is taking a bunch of fires at this at this stage the petropavlovsk is coming in for a close range engagement that might not be wise the destroyers are rushing in, they need to smoke, get their torpedoes away and uh, turn around. So uh, target the uh, target the uh, Petropavlovsk with the torpedoes please. There is also the light cruiser now rushing in, so I am going to change target onto the Kerch to make sure that thing doesn't get torpedoes away while we're getting the destroyers to launch at the, uh, at the Petropavlovsk. Oh, and we've scored a flash fire on the Tomsk. I'll have to check who, who got that, but uh, the forward magazines are exploding and that battle cruiser is just going up in flames right now. Uh, there are the turrets flying. Oh, and the aft magazine is going up as well. Second flash fire. Uh, who did that? Um, that's three, 305 millimeter shell, actually. So let's get our... Let's get our uh, our things under control here a little bit. Uh, the Kaiser Wilhelm II, yeah, Tomsk is has been has been taken out, which means that on this side, sorry, this is a larger battle. I do have a little bit of management to do here. Uh, destroyers need to get their torpedoes away, and the uh, the Vettin and the Scharnhorst are taking on the light cruiser. The Tomsk is already sinking after a catastrophic hit from. Uh, from one of the uh, 305 millimeter shells and we will see if the destroyers can yeah, the destroyers have gotten the torpedoes off I think uh, there are incoming torpedoes so uh, we will have to we'll have to be careful there uh, there is an incoming torpedo from the light cruiser now we will we'll perform a sharp turn with the vetin and uh, drop some speed here uh, destroyers are taking fire now, so they need to they need to disengage uh, a dud torpedo. But we have uh, the second torpedo has hit the Petropavlovsk, and another torpedo hit on the on the Petropavlovsk, and I think uh, that probably caused some damage here. We're still chasing that destroyer back here, uh, but she's almost the Grom is almost done for. I don't know. I've lost track of who's who's been hitting whom, but yeah, Grom is sinking, which means we can now. Uh, we can now focus fire on the Petropavlovsk with everything we've got. And on the other side, the uh, have we managed to avoid the torpedoes? I think we may have. So uh, Vettin and Scharnhorst are still trying to... Oh, another torpedo coming in. Uh, that's going aimed towards our destroyer group. So destroyers need to turn. Uh, lay smoke. And uh, basically, uh, yeah, you, you can get out of here, actually, at this point. I think your job is done of spotting and torpedo scouting. So, 
uh, speed up again on the second battle group and we're now focusing our fire on the Pedro Pavlovsk which I think is uh, that and the light cruiser actually no we need to kill that light cruiser so uh, destroyers focus on the light cruiser and uh, the battle group as well uh, focus on the light cruiser whereas the second group is going to take on is going to take on the uh, Petro Pavlovsk. Okay, we are landing heavy hits on the light cruiser. These destroyers can get out of here. They are out of torpedoes. And where's the other group? Here. So we'll get... Uh, we'll, we'll, Shan, we'll leave Scharnhorst somewhat more at range. And the Kaiser Wilhelm II can take on the Petro Pavlovsk in a close range engagement. While the rest of the gang finishes off the... Actually, the light cruiser is now... Uh, no, the Petro Pavlovsk is sailing this way. Okay, so Kaiser Wilhelm II, uh, you avoid that torpedo and then open fire with everything you've got onto the Petro Pavlovsk. sure to do avoid that torpedo okay Kaiser Wilhelm II coming in uh, where's my destroyer line oh that is uh, we are extremely close to that light cruiser I did not notice that uh, retreat I thought we had that light cruiser under control with the second line over here it seems not to be the case uh, let's see if they can if they can assist with the light cruiser but in the confusion of the battle the two destroyers are, have gotten way too close to the enemy light cruiser. We might lose the destroyer here. The light cruiser is ramming um, and the V-22 is taking a lot of damage here. So we'll retreat that destroyer group. Uh, that just destroyer group can, can retreat as well. And uh, it comes back down to the fight between the Kaiser Wilhelm and the, uh, and the Petro Pavlovsk. Uh, Kaiser Wilhelm is now in point blank is now at point blank range. Uh, Scharnhorst is can sail around a little bit. Second battle group is still trying to sink that light cruiser, who is now I think going up in flames with a flash fire. Yep, he's sinking. So uh, change fire, and we will sandwich the Petro Pavlovsk, and I think that should be the end of that battleship. Not an awful lot of a chance that she's got here to get out of this one alive. A heavy fire coming in from both directions and that would be the last of the Soviet ships to be taken down and hopefully uh, that will give us naval supremacy in the Baltics uh, over whatever uh, whatever the, the Soviets still have left at this stage. I think their navy has taken a very comprehensive beating and uh, with the heavy shells coming in from both sides she is still, she is still returning fire and uh, they've definitely put up a valiant fight, but uh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. So now we just need to be careful not to get any collisions here. And yeah, uh, we are we are absolutely raking the ship at point blank range from the vet, from the vetting. And the. Uh, the battleship Scharnhorst is actually still coming in, whereas the heavy cruiser Scharnhorst is uh, adding some fire from the other side. And yeah, that thing is going to be absolute toast. And it looks like uh, our destroyers might have survived. Yeah, the V-23 is flooding heavily, so I'm not sure if she's going to get out of there alive after the encounter with the light cruiser. But uh, the uh, Petro Pavlovsk is, taken, is completely taken apart here uh, without much of a chance, really. <laughs> To, to inflict any more damage and that I mean at, cl at point blank range basically there she goes uh, structural damage goes up in flames flash fire and that is the end of the Soviet battle group so uh, we have taken some damage to V23 due, due to a navigational error but uh, we will see 
we will see we have sunk a battleship a battle cruiser two heavy cruisers two light cruisers and a destroyer and we'll see who's done the most uh, and it turns out damage dealt if we're going by damage dealt the uh, Kaiser Wilhelm II has has dished out 25,000 points of damage of uh, seven penetrating uh, seven penetrating hits uh, clo uh, actually no the, the sh okay that's a bit weird um, anyway two of the Kaiser Wilhelm the second class three of the Kaiser Wilhelm the second class battleships have ta have dished out most of the damage uh, and uh, V20 has actually done re reasonably well as, as well the heavy cruiser has been a disappointment here and uh, that is definitely something uh, that is definitely something we need to rectify with these refits so uh, in all in all a significant victory once again for uh, for the german empire there is still there are still some soviet forces in the baltics there's still three battleships out of kronstadt and uh, four heavy cruisers operating in the area here uh, we may have to uh, we may have to refit some of our ships to be honest or not refit but also repair some of our ships and uh, but we do have we do have some uh, we, we are starting to have some ships uh, some ships coming out coming out of repairs uh, Kiel has the Braunschweig as well as the Sachsen uh, which are both I think at this point uh, operational and we've got uh, and the Deflinger, I think the the Deflinger, uh, the Deflinger is still under repair, but the Hessen is back and the uh, Kaiserin Augusta is 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 ready, although that needs to be refitted. But our our shipyards were okay. Our shipyards are are in a bit of a better shape at this point. So uh, we yeah we've 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 mostly done with with some of the construction and uh, and and repairs. So we can actually uh, see if we can refit. Uh, we should be able to refit, unless the Kaiserin Augusta is still commissioning. Let's see if we can find. Oh yeah, she's she's still commissioning, commissioning, and the Prince Adalbert as well. So these two are going to come out of uh, come out of commissioning. The Atlantis is still in repair for two months, and then we will we will uh, we will give them a refit. But uh, yeah, uh, world war happening in Europe, very definitely. Let's see what the Soviets are actually still fielding after after the destruction we've wrecked on them. Five battleships, one battle cruiser, nine heavies, eight lights, fifteen destroyers. Not many submarines. So if they've, de they've definitely taken a beating. And uh, due to the fact that uh, our transport lanes have been successfully defended, we're actually still having an economic growth, despite the fact that we're at war with half of Europe. <laughs> so. Uh, that is where the Soviet Union is uh, starting to look at economic disaster. In Africa, the battles are still ongoing. I think the British, yeah, the, uh, the British are trying to make inroads into Togoland, which isn't getting them anywhere. Uh, while our assault into Nigeria is making is making progress. And uh, we've also launched an offensive into Sudan as well as into Uganda. So control over Africa and into South Africa uh, as well. Control over, over Africa may change over time, depending, depending on how these offensives are going. Our relationship with Japan is not good, but uh, for now it's holding. Uh, we have some, we, we will we will move the. Uh, it, it's possible that the submarines that we've stationed over, over uh, off the port of uh, Vladivostok are causing the Japanese concerns. So we will return these to the port in Tsingdao for now, and uh, mostly leave our forces in the Pacific where they are. There are not many. <laughs> we've only got one Nassau there on coastal defense duty. I have two submarines operating off the British coast, but so far they haven't managed to catch anything. So uh, I don't think there is an awful lot of... Uh, I don't know where the, where the home fleet is. They're not in Scapa Flow at the moment. So it looks like um, these submarines are probably better off 
uh, moving towards uh, moving towards the Baltics and see if we can see if we can uh, we can catch some Soviet shipping over there. That's it for me today. Thanks everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.